Maeve, um, it's, a, it's, it's a month since uh, that last World Cup qualifier against Germany in, in Tallow, which Ireland heartbreakingly lost 3-2. Have you got over the disappointment yet? Um, I suppose just about. It's kind of tough, I suppose, in international football when you're not playing week in and week out. It's not easy to get over the games as quickly as you could at club football. So um, when it has been the last game, it's hard to, hard to stop thinking about it, I suppose. But I think we're all looking forward now to kind of getting it over it and um, looking forward to the Russia game. It's a big game for us. Will you take many positives out of the performance against Germany? Yeah, I think that's you know that's what we have to do in a case like this. Obviously, it's very disappointing. Um, you know, on paper we got nothing out of the game, no points. Um, and I think it was it was a great performance from all the team um, and the subs as well, who'd come on, you know, change the game too. So um, it's disappointing not to have gotten anything for all the hard work there. But I think we can only take the positives and try to look at what we've done well in that game and how we can improve on it again against Russia. Going into the Germany game, people were saying anything you got out of it would be a bonus, but that the, the real crunch match was going to be the game against Russia, which we're now on top of, and uh, it takes place on Wednesday in, in Tallinn. What's the mood in the camp like ahead of the game? Yeah, it's been good. I think all the girls are buzzing, like we're looking forward to this one. We know how big it is. Um, obviously, um, like you're saying, anything we got out of Russia was a bonus, but I think this is a really, it is a must win game. Um, given the fact we only drew away to Croatia, kind of puts us, um, you know, a bit under pressure, but um, I think we're, you know, we're used to that at this stage. We know um, how big a game it is and that, you know, we are looking to get three points, particularly when we are at home against them. So I think everyone, yeah, the mood's been great. Like, we're really looking forward to it and everyone's flying it and training and stuff. So it's good. But Russia have a strong pedigree. They were at the European Championships last year in Sweden. They're ranked nine places ahead of Ireland in, in the world rankings. It's, it's going to be another tough test. Oh, definitely. Like, we're no, under no illusions as to how tough it's going to be. Like, their major tournament experience is, is huge. You know, I think a lot of people will look at the um, scoreline against Germany and say they got hammered, but the reality is Germany can do that to a lot of teams, you know. So we wouldn't... Um, we, we're not taking them lightly. Like we're really, we're gonna. We we know how hard it's gonna be, and I think we're just, you know, if we can put in a work rate performance like we did against the Germans. Then if we bring that work rate into this game, then you know we're we're looking to get the three points here. You were named in the uh, Busseren Women's National League Team of the Year last week. Was was that a nice accolade, uh, having just come yeah. back into the league? Yeah, it was. Particularly just I suppose joining up with the team in December, it was really, um, you know, it was a nice honour um, personally. But it was great to see um, two of my teammates in Galway as well. Um, you know, get get on that team as well. And Taylor there was also nominated for Player of the Year. I think she was she was outstanding for us. You know, given um, her goal tally, particularly for for us, she was she was incredible with her goal scoring instincts. So, no, it was nice. Uh, nice honour for me and you know I just hope that we can push on next year at Galway and try to move up the table. How did you find the, the, the half a season in the league? Yeah it was great, um, I'm loving being home and being able to play, you know, um, balance kind of work and play as well so it's good to be home you know and um, playing with uh, girls I would have grown up playing with and you know in front of my friends and family as well it's good. Uh, the standard is, um, you know I was surprised at how, how high the standard is as well. I think over the past three years the league has definitely gone um, from strength to strength and I think the only way is up there's an awful lot of young um, underage players coming through and they're improving the standards going forward and I think it's, um, it's exciting times for the league going forward and I'm excited to be a part of it as well. Just going back to the Russia game, um, the match of course is in Tallis Stadium which is the new home for the women's national team. Um, how, how are you finding your, your new surroundings? Yeah, it's great. I think it's good to, that you know we're playing in the same stadium all the time. It does make it feel like home games. You know, we're well used to the stadium now at this stage. When we're moving around the country, it's not as I suppose you're not as familiar with the surroundings. So um, I think that can give us an advantage. You know, at least um, you're trying to look for every advantage you can get. And um, Tal has an amazing pitch there, and you know the support we got against the Germans was was really good. You can you can feel it on the pitch. You know, when they they do lift you when you know when things are your backs are against the wall and that things are tough um, it's always nice to have the crowd um, to you know to have the sport there so hopefully a um, big crowd will turn out on Wednesday night as well you know to cheer us on <laughs>